So the first step is going to be having the right carrier. You want something that is sturdy, easy to clean, and is the appropriate size for your cat. Next, you're gonna allow your cat to explore the carrier on his own terms, but having food rewards is a good way to build a positive association with the new carrier. Take the top off the carrier, line it with your cat's blanket or a cozy towel. Spraying it with fell away can also make it really attractive and of course, having food inside is also gonna attract your cat to come and check it out. Once your cat is super comfortable being in the carrier, you can start to train him to go in his carrier on command. So here we're starting off by luring Munchkin into his carrier with a target. You can also use a, a treat or your finger. And uh, you wanna reward him the moment all four feet touch the carrier. Now, here I'm using clicker training. You're gonna hear the clicker as uh, his last foot touches the carrier. This okay. is a really invaluable training tool. I All would right. recommend you check out our clicker training video first. This is gonna make the training process a lot easier. So once your cat is All reliably right. going and putting all four feet in the carrier every time you direct him towards it, you can start to give a verbal command as he's doing it. All right. You will need to repeat this several times before your cat makes the association with the word and his actions, but you need to keep your training sessions short. You're not gonna train this in one day. You don't wanna train more than 10 minutes at a time. It's important to keep your cat focused and engaged in learning. Good boy. All right. Now we're gonna give the verbal command before we lure the cat into the crate. Keep practicing until your cat goes into the crate all by himself without you having to lure him there. All right. Yes. Now that your cat is going into his carrier on command, it's time to put the lid on. Keep practicing giving the command before you lure him, but if he doesn't go in on command right away when you put the lid on, it's okay to use your lure again. Just keep practicing like this until he's going in before you lure him. Next, we're going to put the door back on our carrier, but make sure that it stays open at all times. Once your cat is comfortable with the door being on, you can close it for a second and then open it before he's finished eating. Good job, Eddie. Gradually increase the amount of time that the door is closed while offering him treats. When your cat is very comfortable being in the crate with the door closed, we're going to start to very slowly and steadily lift the carrier just an inch off the ground while the cat is still inside. Offer your food reward while your cat is in the crate to continue building the positive association with the carrier itself. We want our cats to learn that right. good things happen when they're in their crate. All right.